When it comes to uh, conditioning, um, do you like prescribe to like, uh, you know, you mentioned like rucking. So I'd imagine that's like longer duration. Sometimes when you run, I'd imagine like uh, in the video I saw you were doing sprints on the beach. So you probably really mix it up. You probably oh, yeah. do sprints, long duration yeah. stuff that's less intense. And then uh, there's probably just some room for you just to smash yourself here and there too, right? I keep to a pretty fixed schedule. It's not absolute, but it's lift three days a week, run once, sprint once, ruck once. Um, doesn't have, you know, it could be, you could add your sprints to the end of a lifting session. I like to sprint barefoot, always have beach, turf, whatever. Same thing with my lifts and carries. Just, I, I spent most of my childhood barefoot and I just, I just always had an intuition that it was, you know, better for your feet and mm -hmm. mechanics. Um, the running, yeah, uh, generally, and I, I also sometimes I go through periods where I just kind of really like running and I'll want to sneak another session or two in, mm -hmm. you know, in the week. But yeah, generally a, a upper body day, a hinge, you know, a deadlift day, a squat day. And uh, I sprint once, I ruck once, and then I run once. And then I do jujitsu mm -hmm. probably three days a week. Yeah. So it feels like I, I haven't added up, but it feels like I'm usually about 10 session, 10 training sessions per week. And but when you run, are you paying attention to anything in particular or are you just kind of like going? So no, I'm I'm I actually side with you in the camp, or I don't want to side with you. I I, I take the same approach you do, mm -hmm. and I think it's excellent for big people who are looking to get into running early on. Don't worry about the pace. Don't worry about the splits. Don't worry about the time or the you know the selfies, whatever it is. Just learn to enjoy the actual thing. Mm -hmm. And it could be you could be running a half mile. You could be running forty miles, whatever it is. But get out there. No expectations. No pressure. No nothing. Just get find an area that you like too. That you know you don't want to be running laps around the parking lot behind walmart you know mm -hmm. or whatever and uh, just learn to enjoy the process and if 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 it takes you half a mile and you turn around and come back that's fine and if it takes you 100 miles that's great too but the first time i tried to run i, I made it 100 exactly 100 yards i was going to try to run to the end of the block and back which is a full round trip of half a mile and i made it 100 yards and could not I just started coughing up cigarette smoke, you know what I mean? And just, and my body was just overweight, like, and just, you know, and that was less than four years ago. Wow. So it's, you know, it Do didn't take that long really to get to my first ultra or my first, you know, it's that little bit. Do you care about the way you breathe when you run? So my nose works about 40%. If you can tell, it's been broken. Oh, and shit. my, yeah, I have a bad, I'm actually trying to get that surgery before too long. So I hear mm -hmm. it's just life changing when you can breathe through your nose again. Mm -hmm. But uh, I do, I'm aware of it. And okay. there are runs, like a shorter run, sometimes two, three, four, five miles where I'll just nasal breathing only. I won't tape the mouth or anything, but I just resolve not to. And it takes mental attention to maintain that as well, which yeah. I like. Pat Roger family, how's it going? We talk about sleep all the time on this podcast. That's why we were partnered with Eight Sleep Mattresses. Now, this mattress is the Tesla of sleep. It's the Tesla of beds. Its technology tracks your heart rate, your heart rate variability. It changes its own temperature based off the way you sleep so that you get better sleep every single night. It is quite literally insane. Check them out, Andrew. How do they get it? Yes, and before I do that, I wanted to let you guys know that you can actually set the bed to wake you up silently. I know that sounds weird, but actually the bed starts vibrating around your head and it doesn't wake up the entire house hold the way my phone used to do back in the day. So now I just kind of have the bed wake me up silently and it's amazing. You guys got to head over to 8sleep.com slash power project. That's E-I-G-H-T sleep.com slash power project. When you guys go there, you'll see a banner across the top saying that you're going to receive $150 off automatically. So again, that's 8sleep.com slash power project to receive $150 off your pod pro cover or your pod pro cover and mattress combo. Links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes. Let's get back to the podcast. But generally, I just breathe. You'll hear, I've heard yeah, contradicting things. I've talked to, you know, Dean Carnassus and Zach Vitter, who, you know, these, these guys that I've tried to mm -hmm. learn from as far as stuff like that. And you hear different things. Some guys say it's really important to do it this way. Some guys say get the air in any way you can. I'm mostly out of necessity in that second camp because if I mm -hmm. just genuinely restricted myself to nasal breathing, my air would be mm -hmm. very restricted. But I try, I mean, I, I don't neglect it. I try to keep it in the in the mix. Yeah, I think Zach, he pretty much just says, like, breathe whatever way you can. Yeah, and Dean yeah. says the same thing. But he's also, like, you know, he <laughs> runs, like, 100 miles, and, like, every mile is, like, a six-minute pace or something Jeez. disgusting so, like that. It's He's genuinely, like, impressive. Like, genu like, he can run 100 miles in half, literally half the time I can. You know what I mean? That's the, the equivalent mm -hmm. of being able to lift twice as much as someone. Like, the, uh, uh, the mountain, that guy can deadlift... Exactly, just over <laughs> twice what I can, like literally twice. Oh yeah, like that. That's a considerable margin. 
So the fact that he can do something in yeah, half the time. Yeah, it's not like you're. It's not like you're not trying. No, no. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, I know. I've done this a time or two. Yeah. And, you know, like when you're a kid, you can be like, "Well, I wasn't trying anyway." Remember that, uh-huh. Remember that excuse? Like, oh, you know, mm-hmm. if when I try, you're gonna be in trouble. But just wait. Yeah. Luckily, I don't <laughs> so. care. Peeps, we love bringing you all this fitness information, and we also want to help bring that information to more people. So if you could help us out, hit that rev subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell, and we'll continue to bring you the heat. And I won't whisper in your ear. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.